now you understand from the playing experience why I became the player I was and the person I am today. I became very passionate about the game. I continued to learn. I kept fighting. I believed and perseverance. I continued to just go, go, and always be prepared and ready for that opportunity. But again, I believed, and I believe, and that's why I believe in every player, and I've been in every experience from sitting the bench, getting hurt, and just trying to move up from one level to the next and be able to play. Now, after playing days are over, I went on and coached. I was teaching and coaching. I was coaching freshman basketball my first year out of high school, and that was a great experience. Eventually, I moved to JV basketball as two schools split in Webster. And during this time, I'm going to every single camp and clinic possible. I want to become the best coach in the world, and I want to know everything about the game. Now, I was teaching mathematics. I have a math mind. So I'm always looking for the perfect solution, the perfect offense, the perfect defense. When I watch video, the patterns, I can pick them up really fast. And that's why I was always trying to find the best offense, the best defense, the best situation based on my players. I never had the same offense every year because you don't always have the same players. But my goal was to be able to take any job at about 30 years old, whether it was Division Three, Division One, uh, foreign, or even something in the NBA world. But I figured it would take me that long to figure everything out. I read every book, went to every clinic. I had a great experience up at Syracuse. I was working the camps there, and they gave me an open door there. Thank, I thank John Wallace for that um, because I used his name a lot to help me get in there with his ties to Syracuse. He is and he bleeds orange, and I would go to every game they had. And they gave me that opportunity, and I would always learn something every time. I would drive all by myself, all the way up to the game, and just come back and work the next day. It meant that much to me, and that's something I'll never forget and, and appreciate. Um, I want to work with players year-round, and I didn't want to tell high school kids to play one sport only. That's not fair. So I started the NY Lakers travel program, an AAU program. During this time, I was talking with John Wallace. I convinced John to jump on board with the program, and we turned it to Upstate Elite. He believed in the same philosophy I had. If you have kids with the talent in Rochester, and you develop them the proper way, they should get scholarships, and they can do a lot better than what they're currently doing. And I think we proved that true. Um, as time went on, we had a great team, and most four or five of those guys are now playing Division One. Uh, during this time with John, he's also was telling me I was very similar to Van Gundy and Pat Riley with my attention to detail. So I started really watching the NBA game, and what I did was I broke down every NBA offense, um, and that's what I did in here. And I ended up creating my own offense. This isn't my own offense. This is every NBA offense that I broke down on my own. I got the NBA packaged, and I created my own offense, and we put it in with that team. And that's one of the things that helped us to win a lot of big tournaments. And that offense, we ended up doing some great things. We ended up with that team and winning the Rumble in the Bronx, which is a great tournament. We ended up going down to Nationals. We actually beat the number one team in the country, uh, the Memphis Stallions. And that was an uh, awesome experience. And then, unfortunately, two of our best players ended up getting injured in the semifinals. And we were up 20 points. And at that level... Uh, we lost that lead in five minutes, and that's still something I regret. I wanted, and I know John did too, we wanted to win a national title. But we won the Rumble in the Bronx, and actually in the finals of the Rumble in the Bronx, I talked to you about how I looked for the perfect offense. I found an offense against a 1-3-1 defense, and I had to use it. And to this day, I've only told a couple people that offense. It's, it just works. It's something I found in a book that Coach O'Rourke gave me from the 1960s or 1970s. I told you I went through every book. I want to do everything I could to become the best coach possible. Um, so moving on after Upstate Elite, John had me uh, introduce me to Joe uh, Bunasar out in Vegas. So I spent a couple days out there in Vegas in, um, as a training facility. I was there one hour. Everything I ever did in basketball came together in one hour. I just got it. Everything just... It was just amazing. And they were working on NBA players, college guys, pre-NBA workouts. It was amazing. So I came back home, and uh, John Wallace introduced me to Jeff Van Gundy. And Jeff Van Gundy, uh, we were, I followed up with a phone call, and he spoke to me about going to see Tim Grover out in Chicago. So I sent them an email, and uh, Mike Procopio calls me the same day and says, uh, we, could, we could use rebounders. I'm, I'm there. So I took advantage of that opportunity, and long story short, I ended up staying there three uh, summers. And I got to thank John Wallace for making all of that happen. During, now, during my time in Chicago, I'm working for Tim Grover, who 
is the best trainer uh, in the world, as everybody, well, you may not know, but his main clients are Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, and uh, Dwayne Wade. And Mike Procopio was one of the main player development coaches down there. So when the top NBA guys came in, they were doing the work. And we were doing, a, I ended up doing a ton of work with other players, and but also doing workouts with foreign pros, Division One players. Um, I ended up having a great relationship with Will Bynum, the point guard on the Pistons. And we ended up doing, I ended up working with him year round, and I ended up breaking down every point guard for Will. So this is my write up of every point guard. And I had a video breakdown for him as well. And what we did was we used, <clears throat> before it was called the cloud, uh, we used that system where I would upload the video, and then Will would download it the night uh, the, in his locker room before the game, read the report, and watch the video. So that experience was unbelievable. And Will, really, I appreciate him too because he opened up his, he gave me a chance, and that's all I ever asked for. Um, I believed I could help Will. And these guys don't always need help to stay where they are because sometimes they just have to get their work in. But I just believe that Will could still improve, and we did improve him, and we looked at details. We came up with some awesome things that people weren't looking at. But when you see the video, you can find where somebody can improve. I also was working at Brandon Trish at the same time, and nobody understood why I was doing that, and I just believed in Brandon. I believe Brandon Trish will be an NBA player. Right now he's playing overseas uh, in Italy, but nobody believed he was going to make the pros, and people did not understand why I was spending so much time up there. And, and again, it's I believed, and I would drive all the way up there and work with him, and I'd drive all the way home, and we would do that really often. And I'm still in touch with him today, and we're going to get him there.